Here we are, the Smuggler's Moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta, swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shadda, from all sides of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Nar Shadda's a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for someone to get lost. If we wanted to keep out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. It means glorious jewel in Hatis, but don't let that fool you. It's the central breeding grounds of the huts. Nar Shadda orbits it. Nal Hutta's as slimy as the huts. Lots of swamp and bloated gas. It's where those slugs reach out and grab chunks of the galaxy. Trust me, we're not gonna go anywhere near the place unless we want to be washing the stink out of our clothes for the next few years. Yeah, some came looking for work running freight and cargo. Still, there's only so many ships to go around and so many workers, so others lend their weapons to the huts in the exchange. It's become a prime base for raider recruitment across the galaxy. It means glorious jewel. Nal Hutta's as trust me. We're not it won't be easy. There's so much traffic on Nar Shadda. Finding anyone on the moon's surface is going to be hard. We're going to touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there, and it's harder for people to spot you coming in. Or find you once you arrive. You speak of this place as if it is familiar to you. Anyone flying the Star Lanes has docked on Nar Shadda at least once. I wouldn't want to live there, and I doubt anyone does by choice. Not everyone who came to Nar Shadda were soldiers. A lot of worlds were destroyed by the Mandalorians, and the Jedi. Left a lot of people wandering the galaxy. Shouldn't be too hard. There's so much traffic on Nar Shadda, finding anyone on the moon's surface is gonna be hard. We're gonna touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there, and it's harder for people to spot you coming in. Or find you once you arrive. You speak of this place? Anyone flying the Star Lanes. I've plotted a course for the refugee sector, and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's gonna find us here. Do you want to massage 
cosa giù scritta l'ossa, mi un maggio fu e che mi cogira, che una volta attacca a canca di ra, io tocca a lungi io ma li ba, tu es maha wika, si io avanta mo go e che mon sopa, waka ma nu ra wa. Observation. Jedi follow the self-destructive path of pacifism and tolerance. They will not attack first. Honto no saka. Jita bedwana matcha. Doveri nincha. Wanana shi tasa chuch. Si macha dana. Dona wi sorcha makaran. Ah, the beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. This moon. It teems with life. It is difficult to center oneself. Word of warning, watch where you step, or you'll fall for hours. Maybe a little, but landing here means we didn't have to transmit our ID signature. You know what trouble that always brings. In fact, while we're here, we should get those signatures changed. Wouldn't make us such a target when we enter a new system. Sure, most of the landing pads around here are unclaimed, or should be. They're pretty badly maintained, so they're not safe to land on. Well, I mean, not this one. But they all have the reputation, so we should be all right. I think. No, but I forgot to tell them we were landing. The refugee sector's a dead zone. No one cares too much who flies in and out of here as long as they're not carrying cargo that the Exchange or the Huts might want a piece of. Yeah, in all its glory. Don't get your hopes up from what you see here, though. As soon as we hit the main sector, that's when the smell and the mobs can get pretty bad. All right, then, let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? It does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Uh, yeah, if you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. Finding a Jedi, or anyone else touched by the Force here, will be difficult. The mass of people, the rush of their emotions. It makes detection difficult, but this moon does not get any smaller while we wait. This sector is as good as any place to begin our search, so let us begin. Well, if we're gonna search a moon of a few billion inhabitants for one Jedi that even our own can't sense, might as well start as soon as possible. Well, that means finding either a bounty hunter, a ranking member of the Exchange, or someone willing to talk. None of which are too appealing. Bounty hunters in the Exchange are going to want to shoot you. And someone who is willing to talk is willing to talk to anyone. Which means trouble. The bounty is a waste of our efforts. All that matters is the Jedi. The intentions of the thugs of this moon are of no consequence. This bounty poses a threat to him. We do not need two beasts at our back when the Sith are enough. If you are so certain of your path, then do what you will, servant of Atreus. It makes no difference. It's up to you. There's bound to be someone in the sector willing to spill their guts for a credit or two. Finding a Jedi, or anyone else touched by the Force here will be difficult, but this moon does- Well, if we're gonna search- Alright, if you have any questions, just ask. We should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. No one supervises these landing pads anymore. You! You there! Uh-oh. What's with you? Let that piece of junk sink its thrust into my landing pad! Yeah! And the hut told me one day I'd own all of Nalhata! Looks like we both been told wrong. I got another ship coming in, and unless you want that piece of junk's hull crushed flat, you better move it. Got it? Yeah? Well, it's the first I've heard of it. Tell you what, let me check it out. If you're cleared, then you're clear. No trouble. Hmm. Ah, 
Ah, never mind. It's not worth the trouble. You call the shots. This is gonna be trouble. I can feel it. Something up? All right, what did you want to know? No. Look, you can't keep us trapped in the refugee sector. We can't survive there. Y you've got us locked in. <laughs> the exchange respects his money. So Visquis is trying to increase his profits by using the refugees here in Nar Shadda as a cheap labor force. We're only good to him as slaves and merchandise. He wants to keep us in one place so he can control us. That's always been the way. Well, except lately. The exchange has been clamping down on the refugee sector hard, and I've no idea why. They've started kidnapping people, hurting others, but there seems to be no reason to it. <laughs> you don't. He comes to you. If he's got reason to. Either because you can help him out, or because you're making trouble. Either way, it's not a good thing. Whatever your reasons, thanks. Spare a few credits, friend. Alright. I don't know much beyond the refugee sector here, but I can share what I know. This sector's filled with refugees from the Jedi Civil War, and even as far back as the Mandalorian Wars. Refugees and war veterans both. And anyone else who was rendered homeless by the war. The Jedi destroyed planets across the galaxy, and here's where the wreckage ended up. 
That's two names for one thing. It's difficult to tell in the crossfire, and the Sith were led by Jedi. In the end, it didn't make much difference. No, should I? He doesn't sound like a hut. What, is he a bounty hunter or an exchange boss? Jedi Master? There aren't any Jedi Masters in the galaxy, let alone on Nar Shaddaa. This place is a cesspit, with the exchange and the hut stabbing their claws into everything. But, you know, I did hear something about a bounty on Jedi, though. Something the exchange posted. Doesn't matter, though. There aren't any more Jedi around, so no one's going to be collecting that bounty. Not much to say, except it's a high price. You need to find a bounty hunter to get more, and they've been pretty scarce lately. You might have more luck trying to find someone connected to the exchange. And I don't mean some spaceport muscle, I mean someone connected. No idea. Could be one of them crossed the exchange, and they're looking for revenge on all of them. Well, they tend to lay low, to be honest. It's like with bounty hunters. You may need to do something to get their attention. Friend, you did promise some credits in exchange for information. Look, one other thing. It's obvious you're new around here. I can tell it just by looking at you. Nar Shaddaa can be a rough place, and easy to get lost in. If you want, I can keep an ear out for you. Let you know if I hear anything. I'll do that then. I'll come seek you out if I hear anything I think you might want to know. I saw what you did to those exchange thugs, stranger. Can you spend a few credits, maybe help another refugee in the need? Thank you, stranger. I won't forget your kindness. Why did you do such a thing? Such kindnesses will mean nothing. His path is set. Giving him what he has not earned is like pouring sand into his hands. And would that be a kindness? What if by surviving another day he brings a greater darkness upon another? Force binds all things. The slightest push, the smallest touch, sends echoes throughout life. Even an act of kindness may have more severe repercussions than you know or can see. By giving him something he has not earned, perhaps all you have helped him become is a target. Seeing another elevated often brings the eyes of others who suffer. And perhaps in the end, all you have wrought is more pain. And that is my lesson to you. Be careful of charity and kindness, lest you do more harm with open hands than with a clenched fist. Good. Mind what I have said. Use your power, but in its proper place. What did he want? Just answers to some questions. Asked about a Jedi Master of all things. Really? Interesting.
Gen rektada ce mențe bine garu rugă totul unde ciuci am atas o benchișe manențețe pe la dibo notă mune crana cada Te reuana jun conata de la răguna tuna Dai rintă rând că orecă repa până la rând și încă Te race o minut tot o rere să ne sentă Cea rănana gândosă remine al chelorac cu cărcat pada Că rătoră pada nouă ringă tăl camarada te la fibu nubă de veterana ce ne gara Sulston's hearing is pretty sharp, if you couldn't guess from the lobes. But if I can't hear it, so I'm going to turn it off. 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 Big ears here might know someone who can change the Ebon Hawk's ID signature. Could be useful for avoiding notice. Tere wana jun konata de la raguna tuna. Dai rintu rung ka urekare pa panala ran shinga. Te rache a wemeno to to orere se ni senten. Te re wana jung konata de la raguna tuna. Dai rintu rung ka urekare pa panala ran shinga. Te rache a wemeno to to orere se ni senten. Te re wana jung konata de la raguna tuna. Dai rintu rung ka urekare pa panala ran shinga. Te rache a wemeno to to orere se ni senten. De rintu rintu wa kawere koe wa kere bu ninso tele pachan ko sadara nane gra gra da lo nota choloren do sane gra da dentro koe wa fa tera tana chingra dana do sen to rintri ke le risonto chenig rexi kontunso des jun karatata de rintu rintu wa kawere koe wa fa tera tana chingra dana fera rampada no de ringtada ne kemara chela fi bornu bodat do sane kara mala du rintse dana ra me du rebe chin chin kran daktada Thank <laughs> you. 
I hear you. Let me take care of this. Pure Pazak. What is it? Bye. 
Hey, I saw that ship you flew in on. My ship. Your ship? I'd lay off the spice if I were you. That's our ship, not yours. Was I talking to you? I tell you, that ship's mine. It's the Ebon Hawk, isn't it? She was stolen from me during a routine run in the Mid-Rim, near the close of the Mandalorian Wars. The Registry's 34P7JK. It's got a temperamental hyperdrive, and the turrets can be sluggish and unresponsive against fast-moving fighters. She's also got two secret compartments, one in the cargo hold, right near the plasteel cylinders in the back, and the second beneath the bunks in the starboard cabin. Whoa, he could have gotten that information some other way than owning the ship. Come on, he's skifting us. So, you're gonna hand it over now, or are you going to be difficult? No deal. A ship's worth its weight in spice on Narshada, and nothing's worth being trapped here another year scrounging freight jobs. What? It's our ship. I mean, your ship, that I fly. Good to hear you aren't going to challenge it. That makes things a lot easier. What are you doing? That's gonna trap us here. be going now. Get used to the solid ground beneath you. <laughs> Let me shoot him in the back. No one has to know. The bounty hunters have been laying low recently, like they're waiting for something. Ugh, the stink here in the refugee sector is... Wish the exchange would pack up the refugees and ship them all off to... Grachi, ubachi, kumpa, dwara, muska, na boska, wamba. Trelieba, kumpa, manso, kolema, koncho, rebi, masa, efre, kuntas, plest, semero, chore, kreno. Nora, hagwa, muska, yokola, laubaka. Hara, hinewa, spevara, na, hisna, spefina. Charn, kutos.
came from. Where that came from. Time to eat in the eye. Yes. Just say the word. Let me take care of this. Pure Pazak. Yes. Don't waste my time. I've got a transport to catch. Dawacho singu poenda rakawa ichi rendu mopa rama kawana abawasi. You crawl and one mopu city in Olara. Ask a Twi'lek. It's not flattering. Febko e Mariam ga wata situ in sula raka raka chata. Tamaso kin chuda wanga. Mopi una wana si chukora tawa. Donos e Maragith. Wana raka wana chi drum ga sa in chobin sasha. Dosima na rachata. Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them like a shiver running through you. It is Narshada, the true Narshada that you feel around you. It is this moon, with the metal and machine stripped away and the currents of the force laid bare. deadened you to such perceptions. What you feel is the echo of the minds of these creatures within the Force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. One might as well heal the universe, but such manipulation is possible, yes. It requires that one be able to feel the critical point within the fractured mass, and know how to strike it in such a way that the echoes travel to your intended destination.
as long as it lasts. Like life, such waking moments within the Force are rare, waiting for the right moment when the critical point is struck and the sound rises. Let us be silent. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment for as long as it will last. Doveri nincha, yo no na shi casa chuch, buana tu no vayes, torcha no banca ni un cadets. Por senta vi nota, to no tocha, tocha rama kaka musuran kana. Please, look, I, I already paid the exchange what I have. struggles when fought and won on their own that yield the strongest rewards you stole that struggle from them cheapened it that is all I ask are you crazy 
That was exchange muscle. When they hear about this, they'll come back a dozen strong and tear you limb from limb. Uh, all right. What'd you want to know? The bounty hunters don't have any one place where they stick around. Best thing I can tell you is if you want to find one, get a bounty on your head and then wait. Jedi Master? You crazy? There aren't any more Jedi running around, let alone Masters. But you're serious, aren't you? All right, well, look. If I were a Jedi, I'd be where I could help people. As for where that happens on Nar Shadda, I have no idea. Are you serious? All right. I must be doing something right for you to come along and bail me out like you did. Guess the Jedi Code is still alive and well. If you say so, I'm not sure I believe it. There's a lot of people who need help in the galaxy. If we stop to help each one, the Sith are gonna be on us faster than anything. Let's just accomplish our mission first, then worry about everyone else.